more likely that a parcel of remote Aboriginal land in the Northern Territory will host the country's first purpose-built nuclear waste facility. The federal government today announced it has abandoned three other possible sites in the NT and will now focus on assessing the suitability of Muckatee Station near Tennant Creek. But there's opposition from some traditional owners in the area and doubts over how the site will stand up to scientific scrutiny. For more than two decades, Australian governments have been grappling with where to put homegrown nuclear waste. We've got to front up to our responsibilities. It is our waste. Today, Labor fulfilled a promise and announced it will repeal legislation that gave the previous government the option of imposing a dump on the Northern Territory. But it looks like radioactive waste is territory bound anyway. The initial consideration will be for the site that has been volunteered to be by the Northern Land Council on behalf of the Napa people. In 2007, the Northern Land Council offered the Aboriginal-owned Muckatee Station, just north of Tennant Creek, as a potential nuclear waste site. But traditional owners are divided, with some petitioning the minister to reconsider. And they're not the only ones unhappy with the prospect of a facility at Muckatee. The Muckatee deal is secretive, confidential and contested and that's not a good basis for a good outcome for Australia's radioactive waste. Darwin-based Labor MP Damien Hale says the science doesn't stack up. Uh, I know that it's not the best place and there's been scientific reports done over the last uh, 15 to 20 years that proves it's not the best place. Martin Ferguson says if Muckatee Station doesn't tick all the boxes, the government will call for other landowners around the country to offer a site. But there isn't much time. Nuclear waste from Scotland and France will return to Australian shores in 2014 and needs to be stored somewhere. Melinda James, ABC News, Darwin. The furor over the site of a nuclear waste dump spilled over into Territory Parliament today. But that wasn't the only thing generating heat. Labor campaigned hard against a waste dump in the NT and the former member for Solomon wasn't going to let them forget it. Will you uh, roll over no. uh, and say one thing in election yeah. time uh, and do another? Yeah. Yeah. The announcement meant the Chief Minister's plan to spook a deal that'll see about 300 apartments built on Salvo's land in Darwin in return for the charity getting a bigger facility at Berrimah was overshadowed. Science should determine where this should go in the interests of all Australians, not just one small group of people in a very remote part of the Northern Territory. In question time, the hot button issue was truth and whether the Attorney General told it last week when she denied her hand-picked anti-discrimination commissioner had decided not to take the job. Why didn't you tell the truth? Last week, absolutely, Pat Miller was discussing starting dates with me. Now, very clearly over the weekend, she had uh, discussions with her family. The opposition members shut their eyes to the truth by insisting the government has reduced child protection funding. In 2009, your government cut the child protection mm. budget. The Chief Minister avoided it by continuing to compare Labor's entire child services budget with only part of the CLPs. Seven million dollars a year. And then he abandoned it completely by refusing to correct this statement from last week that is flat out wrong. Since we've been in government, Madam Speaker, we have invested over $90 million a year into child protection services, Madam Speaker. In the Territory, it seems the principle of truth in Parliament is getting distinctly contaminated. Katrina Bolton, ABC News. Disturbing video footage of a Territory woman allegedly throwing her baby on...